Right. Hi. So first of all, we're going to unpack it again, so we can have a look at the inside. Um, because I did make a really detailed video of it, but I can't find the file right now. And I think it might be quicker if I unpack it and spend another 30, 40 minutes repacking it. It always seems to take really long. Okay, we're not here for me to talk, so I'm just going to open it up. I think I've already damaged it. Oh, how annoying. Okay, fair enough. I've actually once before unpacked it and repacked it. Never mind. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a better angle. So this is you could maybe let me know if you're happy with this before I send it to you. Um, I felt it was really well packed all around and it had about, you know, um, an inch and a half of bubble wrap on every angle. Okay. Here is the beautiful Bolex. And now we're going to, oh yeah, we had some questions about the lens. First of all, let me take the lenses off. One, two. Good. I'm going to come and bring you a little bit closer. So first of all, we're going to check how clear the... Where is? Can you see? So I would say there's a little bit of fogginess in there, even so the image is actually out of focus here, but... I would say there's a little bit of fogginess in there. I can't quite tell if I just didn't clean the lens well enough. Um, okay, I'm going to take a closer look in a moment. Oh, it would help if we take the lens cap off. I'm showing it to you from that side and this side, and we obviously can't see anything. So let's see if we can open. So this is a little this is a little bit stiff, this little one. Um, it's the 2.8. It's a little stiff to turn, but it does turn. You see? It turns, I would say that's free considering how old it is. It's getting better as I'm doing it a little bit more. Okay. First of all, let me open. What's happening here? Okay, so this is happening as I'm turning. I think this might be the... F this is the focus. Ah! Okay. Yep. Okay, so now I can give you a better idea. Um, changing the f-stops is actually quite tough. It turns, but as you can see, I have to use my hand quite strongly. But it does turn. I really have to use it quite strongly. So that might be a problem for you. I apologize, I didn't see that before. I think maybe it just didn't bother me. I think I just set it at something that I needed it to be at. And I can go from 2.8 to 22 so that's it does move i feel like the more i'm moving it the easier it gets so it hadn't been used for a while and then the focusing is completely the focusing is also firm but free okay same thing for this one. Oh, this is really nice so changing the f-stops on the one for uh, 25 millimeter 1.5 25 millimeter 1.5 changing the f-stops super smooth so it's easy to film super smooth and also the focusing super smooth let me open this up again 
let me just clean this a moment. Let me get this right. 25 millimeter, 1.5. So I was happy to use it as it is, but I don't know about you. So there is like this little bit of stuff on there and I can't tell if it's the outside or the inside. You can see it a little bit, tiny bit here. Looks like sort of a little spot of fog. So I don't know if that is what you say is fungus. Um, very hard to show. When I look through, like personally, when I looked through it, I was super hard. I mean, yeah, so I mean, you're the expert, right? You're the person who needs to be happy here. Um, I'm not sure if I can do anything here to make you happier. Let's see. So that works nicely. When I look through top to bottom, let me see if I can show you. Let's see. Now there we are. That's probably better. Um, we're still looking at you can tell I'm not a great camera review person here, at the 25 millimeter, 1.5. And you can probably, can you see that? I can see it here. Um, I'm looking at the screen. It's the same view you would get. Do you see that? There are like these little specks in there, like sort of, I don't like to say it, but I do imagine it could be fungus. Um, I'm okay with you withdrawing your eBay bid, but if you could do it before it closes, that would save me a lot of time with the admin here. Because offering this um, to the next highest bidder would be difficult. But anyway, I think like I, I included these with this instead of making separate listings because I thought it just makes everything easier for everyone. This means you get a functioning camera with a functioning lens. I think we are determining right now that this is maybe not a perfect lens. Oh, and do you see these little spots? Like little black spots? Like, oh, let me see if I can point at one. Where are we? Where's my finger? There. Little black spot, little black spot, little black spot. I don't know if they are on the surface or not. I didn't want to mess around too much. What else do we need? Uh, we need to see it turning. Sorry for take, for being so inefficient here. What do we have? There we are. This is very satisfying. And then also we have the focusing. Super satisfying. I was just so happy with the images I got with this, but it was 10 years ago. But if I, I could swear this lens always looked similar to this. So now we're going to look at this before we look all, lose all of our light. This is the 16 millimeter 2.8. I've used both lenses and both of them worked for me. You know, I'm an artist. I'm not a professional cine filmmaker. So let's start here. Let's, don't we have, um, there it is. So I have to use, you can see, I have to sort of use a bit more pressure, but it does move, I wouldn't say like super easy, but it certainly also isn't going to slip. I would be happy with this. If you sent this to me, I would not think like, okay, hang on, let me tell you. So going from this to here is a little stiffer, but fine. So now, let's see, going from 2.8, I really have to hold on here, but I can turn it, see, turns. I wish I'd done this video for you sooner, but you really live and learn, aha. So going from 2.8 to about here, and then there's a bit where it kind of Go, slips a little almost. Slipping isn't the right word, but it sort of goes easier and then it gets harder again to turn it. But you can see it goes to 22. I'm not trying to hide anything, I'm just holding on to it. Um, to 
3.8 and 22 and you see going this way is smooth for me going this way from about here to about there it sort of goes easier and then it yeah so I need different amounts of pressure to go along I'm not explaining this well for me as an artist, I would be also happy if, you, if I knew about this and you sent this to me, I would be, I'd be cool as a cucumber, as they say. And then here's your focus again. From infinity to, oh, see the more I play with it, the easier it's getting actually. There we go. Okay. Here is the 60 millimeter 2.8. And I've just been playing with it for a while and actually this moves, the more I'm moving it, the more it's freeing up. When I first started at the beginning, it was much stiffer, but now it moves relatively easily. I do have to, I think you can maybe tell, I have to hold it pretty tight to move it, but it's okay. Um, as an artist, having used it, not as a professional filmmaker, I was very happy with it and I would be very happy with it now. I'm just in a life situation where I can't hold on to it right now, unfortunately. It does make me sad, because I know I'll never own something so beautiful as this Bolex again. Yeah, do you need to see something else about this? Probably look through. Let's see if we can put something darker on the other side of it. Ah, also, for the person asking, I've been using single sprocket film and in a moment we're going to explore. Oh no, we wanted this here. So I wanted to see if it shows differently. No. Um, I would also need to see. You see, it's a little bit. I don't know what the word is. You have to use a bit of a fine-tuned finger to get it where you want to be. I'll try and demonstrate what I mean. With this one, it's a little. With this one, every f-stop clicks into place. The 25 millimeter, everything clicks into place. Whereas the 16 millimeter, there is no clicking. Oop. So everything goes from one to the other. Okay, let's open it. So this is a little bit stiffer, but looks good to me. Where, where is the camera? Around? There. See? Doesn't that look good? I think it looks good. So let's go to a F5. Looks really good, I think. Okay, what we need now is... Oh, I also think here this looks really nice. To me, but... Sorry if I just freaked you out doing that. I understand. Let me just open it again. Good. Are we wide open? Are we all the way? Yes, we are all the way. On this side? Ah, okay. So, oh, I see something. Do you see that little dot? There you go, this little dot. Good. I apologize for not having made this video earlier. I I'm a little bit overwhelmed by life. So now let's open up this baby. Got battery. And oh, I haven't opened this in so long. So there is film in here, which is also why I didn't... Um, oh, I'm talking too much. Okay, sprockets. We had... Aren't they beautiful? I want to show you. Look how beautiful these are. They are super clean. Like super clean. I love them. Okay, I'm a weirdo. Sorry. Okay. Um, sprockets. I'm blind as a bat. Excuse me. Let's 
let's change and let's see if this works um i'm really struggling with eyesight if you just give me let's see there was a question about sprockets and basically i have a test roll of unexposed film in here my heart bleeds a little bit that we are now messing it up but that's so I think, as I'm feeling around here, there's only one uh, line of sprockets. I hope that's helpful. But look how clean this all is. So clean. Oh, and there you can see. So you can see, you know, it's been used. Sorry for the shakes. I had one coffee. But all of this is really nice. Um, the last thing I want to do while I have you here is actually this here only needs to turn like quarter to open it and it only closes a quarter to close it. So I don't know if you know about these things. Oh, I don't really want to open it again, but there it is open and I have to close all four corners and here it's already closed and locked. And, and now let's put the lens back on. Right, so the other thing I'd like to do with you right now is to press the button. Okay, so here we are. Here is the exposure button. You don't really need to see all of my unkept face, do you? Here's the button. And now we need to wind it up this way. Let me stop talking so you can listen to the camera. Press the button. You know what, let's just go all the way. Okay, that feels like the maximum. I didn't count. I should have counted. Okay, let's see how long it'll go. That's it. That's the beautiful Bolex. <sighs> oh yes, y you might want to know about this viewfinder. I just looked through it and honestly I almost feel like it's for decorative purposes because it seems, ex I don't know if we can get see anything, it seems extremely, sorry, it seems extremely foggy in there. I don't know. Are you looking through it right now? I had trouble looking through it. Um, okay. Hi, sorry, my hair's not washed. I don't normally show myself to the public like this. Okay, let me know if you have any more questions. There are about 20 hours left to the eBay bid at the time of filming, but it's gonna take me at least two hours to upload it. And um, I'm sorry, I'm long-winded. I'm going to put time stops. Before I edit this video, I just realized, in case you are here, no, I just said bye, don't go.